Our global society is moving towards a milestone of 7 billion wireless connections. <laughs> That's about as many connections as there are people. How do we provide wireless users with a high quality experience on their connected device with limited impact on the environment? The answer is small cells with gallium nitride semiconductors, or more precisely, GAN on SICK, because there's no better way to provide a great user experience than with Cree GAN based power amplifiers. So, what is GAN semiconductor technology? Transistors and mimics fabricated using gallium nitride on silicon carbide substrates provide revolutionary performance to our wireless infrastructure. GAN on SICK is a wide band gap material which delivers performance improvements over incumbent semiconductor technologies like silicon, silicon germanium, and gallium arsenide. We'll get into the features and resulting benefits for small cell wireless equipment in just a moment. But what are small cells? You're already familiar with large cell towers. Small cells are lower power wireless access points with a specific goal. To increase signal strength to acceptable levels in areas where connectivity is low, such as urban canyons in cities where buildings obscure the signal path to residences and businesses because signals are impeded by walls, ceilings, and many other obstacles. Cellular carriers have realized that small cells could also be the answer for handling the massive amounts of data traffic generated by multitudes of UEs, or user equipment devices. There are all types of small cells, ranging from the lowest power femto for indoor coverage to pico cell, micro cell, or metro cell. As we enter an age where everything is connected, cellular networks are looking for the greatest user experience. Small cells improve that experience, but the technology can do so much more with GAN-based power amplifiers. All of these small cells contain power amplifiers. When the heart of the amplifier uses GAN-based transistors, the performance is amazingly beneficial to the entire wireless society. Cree offers a portfolio of GAN on SICK transistors that enable this performance. The most significant feature of GAN-based amplifiers is a wide channel bandwidth. The bandwidth of the channel dictates the information carrying capacity of the channel. Claude Shannon at Bell Labs figured out how much information a channel theoretically could carry. Using this methodology, we have concluded that a single GAN-based amplifier would process more traffic than an in-gap or SIGI-based amplifier. So, how much more traffic? Channel bandwidths achieved by Cree's GAN-based amplifiers demonstrate compliance to the latest releases of LTE Advanced and Wi-Fi's 802.11ac. The 802.11ac specification requires 160 MHz of channel bandwidth at 5.8 GHz, which is an 8 times improvement over the 20 MHz in almost all of the networks today. Think of all those ones and zeros cramming into a small pipe. It creates congestion, resulting in slow download speeds and dropped calls. When using a GAN-based power amplifier, you increase the size of the pipe, providing faster download speeds and fewer dropped calls. Another significant feature is wide signal bandwidth. This feature enables a single GAN-based amplifier to process more traffic than a silicon-based amplifier by covering more frequencies. Here's an example. The black boxes indicate the frequency bandwidths that silicon-based power amplifiers can achieve today. The narrower signal bandwidth means the ecosystem has to develop, deploy, and maintain many different amplifiers to process all of the potential frequency bandwidths. Now, compare the frequency bandwidths achieved by Cree's GAN-based amplifiers in blue. <laughs> it's not rocket science to see that the industry has to go GAN because a great user experience just cannot be achieved any other way. This chart shows popular existing cellular bands. GAN amplifiers also are currently available from Cree for the WiMAX and LTE bands at 3.5 GHz, as well as for the unlicensed spectrum at 5 GHz. We also have a single GAN amplifier that can cover public safety frequencies at 4.9 GHz, as well as the Uni3 5.9 GHz frequency. While wider signal and channel bandwidths are the most significant features of Cree's GAN amplifiers, there are other benefits. 
Through the combination of wide signal and wide channel bandwidths, network operators can use fewer amplifiers to provide a more satisfying user experience, or QoS, quality of service. Increasing the user experience while needing fewer resources is important. Networks can be deployed faster and with less equipment, resulting in lower maintenance costs. The proven performance of Cree's GAN amplifier makes it more efficient than competing technologies, even while covering a wider frequency bandwidth. Based on our estimates, today's deployment of gas p hemp in-gap HBT, and SIGI by CMOS-based power amplifiers consumes approximately 70% more electricity than if GAN hemp based power amplifiers were used. This would lower the network operator's utility bill. In some applications, the high-efficiency GAN amplifier may also result in the elimination of a cooling apparatus for some types of small cells, thereby lowering the system equipment cost even more. GAN amplifiers also promote the move of next-generation networks to carrier aggregation. CA, or carrier aggregation, is defined in the LTE standard. It's a method for combining the data traffic to user equipment on a carrier or channel in heavy use with a carrier that has less traffic. This will result in increased user data download and upload speeds for all users in the cell, which is important for LTE advanced deployment. Another noteworthy feature is high voltage operation. You might be familiar with PoE, which stands for Power Over Ethernet and operates at 40 volts. IT and facilities professionals love PoE because they can install small cell access points in buildings just by connecting an Ethernet cable. This is possible because the high voltage operation of the small cell results in the elimination of a step-down switch mode power supply or enables a highly efficient step-down to an intermediate value. Cree's GAN semiconductors operate at voltage ranges up to 50 volts. <laughs> I can go on and on. But the point is, the adoption of GAN transistors in small cells is needed to provide a more satisfying user experience. You can walk down the block using a high-definition video chat in parallel to surfing the web and using location services. There's no better way to provide a great user experience than with Cree GAN-based power amplifiers.